Hello, human people. I am Jay Stedman, lead admin evangelist here at Salesforce, and welcome back to another rousing episode of Did You Know? Did you know that you can control access to visibility for components in your app pages using custom permissions? Let's take a look at how we do that. Addison is starting by taking a look at this flow. Now, Addison wants to take this admin toolkit flow and embed it in an opportunity page, but she only wants certain users to have access to it. The first step is to embed the flow into our record page. So Addison navigates to the sales app, selects an opportunity, and then chooses edit page from the setup icon in the upper right hand corner. Once Addison is here, she can select the flow component on the left hand side. She'll drag it where she wants onto the canvas, and then she's going to select the particular flow that she'd like to display. In this case, the admin toolkit screen flow. Now she's going to save this uh, page layout, uh, this lightning page, and then she'll navigate back to take a look. Great. So you can see here that the flow is displayed appropriately. We have the two buttons that she's expecting to see. So we have the flow in the page, but now we need to control access and visibility to that flow. Addison wants to control this using custom permissions. So she's going to go to setup and type custom permissions into the quick find box and then click custom permissions. From here, she'll click the new button and she'll give it a useful label and a useful description. So this custom permission is for the admin toolkit and the description is going to say something like grants access to tools just for awesome admins. So by saving, we've created the custom permission, but now we need to assign it to a profile or a permission set. And following best practices, we're going to assign it to a permission set. We're going to create a new permission set in this case, and we're going to name that permission set Admin Toolkit. We'll also give this a useful description, something like grants the Admin Toolkit custom permission. That way we know what this thing does. So we save the permission set, and now we need to actually give it the custom permission. So we click uh, custom permissions after typing it into the settings box. And then we select edit from this box at the bottom. Once we click edit, the custom permission that we've created is now visible. So we'll select the admin toolkit custom permission and we'll click save. Now we have a permission set that has been assigned our custom permission. The next step would be to manage assignments and give this to a user. But we want to make sure that it works. So the first step we're going to do here is add a conditional visibility to our screen flow component. So Addison is going to edit the page again. And we're going to click on that screen flow. We'll select add filter and choose the advanced option. We're going to select from the first list permissions from the second list custom permission, and from the third list, admin toolkit, which is the permission that we just created. And this little formula here says, if this admin toolkit permission is true, if it's granted to a user, then let them see this flow screen component. So we save it. And we're going to go back and take a look. Remember, Addison does not have the permission assigned to her at this time. And as expected, you can see that the component is no longer visible to Addison. So how do we fix this? Well, we're going to go back to that permission set in setup, and we're going to assign that permission set to Addison. Now, this is great because Addison can assign this permission set to other users at her discretion, and she doesn't have to worry about whether or not somebody has the system admin profile. So we'll click Manage Assignments, Add Assignments, and we'll select Addison Maisley. We'll assign it. Now we're going to go back to that record page and take a look to verify that we do see the component at this time. So we click back into the sales app, back into uh, the record, and you can see that we now have access to the flow component here in the screen. This provides Addison tons of flexibility in the way that she needs to assign this permission or unassign this permission in her org. And that concludes this episode of Did You Know? Thank you so much for joining me, and I'm really excited to see you here next time.